thought that I could not be hurt. I thought that I could not be hurt. I thought that I must surely be impervious to suffering, immune to mental pain or agony. My robe was warm with April sun. My thoughts were spangled green and gold. My soul filled up with joy, yet felt the sharp sweet pain that only joy can hold. My spirit soared above the gulls, yet swooping breathlessly so high or overhead. Now it seems to brush their whirring wings against the blue roof of the sky. How frail the human heart must be, a throbbing pulse, a trembling thing, a fragile, shining instrument of crystal which can either weep or sing. And suddenly my world turned gray, and darkness swept aside my joy, and dull and aching void was left. Our careless hands had reached out to destroy. My silver web of happiness, the hands then stopped, and wonderment for loving me. They wept to me the tattered runes of my atonement. How frail the human heart must be, a mere pool of thought, so deep and tremendous, an instrument of class that I could either sing or weep. Sylvia Plath, 1948. I had those good days, I had those bad days, for gnawing at the fucking straps. Problems with my fucking goddamn head, issues with my goddamn mind, issues with fucking people, as a given fucking daily task. Can't help it. I accept it. My wife accepts it. My son accepts it. My daughter accepts it. My family accepts it. Everybody's fucking got him insane the way I fucking look at it, the way I always fucking perceive it. And it doesn't fucking got him change. But it's like there are times where I just want to punch the living shit out of people. Hell, that's almost like every fucking got him did because it just irks me that I can't find an intelligent level and the intelligent people that I do hold so fucking got in here are few and far fucking got in between. It's funny, it's like the eternal quest for intelligence, and yet you're stuck with fucking retards, fucktards, and just utterly stupid fucking human beings that you just want to clearly fucking shoot. You want to take out in the field, run them run around and shoot them, because they're so stupid, they think everything's fucking shiny. And it hurts me. It's like, yes, I'm an intelligent person, but it's also troublesome that I have to battle. And it's like, I'm a gifted genius, I'm an artist, and I do what I do with the grace of the damn devil. I do it every day. I, people are very opinionated of my work, so how can you do this? How can you say this about yourself or about other things or about what you observe? I said, it's simple. Live in my damn shoes and suffer the way I suffer, and then you can fucking clearly die and see. And then the straps are continually gnawed. It's like a little rat for cheese. You gotta, like, you gotta, you gotta bite them free. But they keep on just adding more and more damn straps. It's like you're in a straight jacket trying to escape, which I have. I live in a straight jacket. I mean, if I did that now, I'd be fucked. I mean, everything would be different, okay? and then I would have to pop it back in. And it's, uh, yeah, it's sad, but I don't, I don't see a problem with it. Yeah, I got a mental illness. I don't see a fucking problem with it. I deal with it on a daily goddamn basis. I have my good days. I have my bad days. I have my bad days. And I have my really bad days. I have days where I just feel like a damn coma victim. Like, huh? Huh? Really? Huh? I'm not paying much attention. Didn't Mrs. Ash look stuff up wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. I'm just not in the mood to think. That's rare. Me not to think. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. But it happens. Shit happens. It's a daily basis. It's a daily struggle. It's like when you put your penis and shoes on, you just get to put on your underwear. Well, fuck. I mean, that's how it is almost every day for me. It's like I forget to put on something. Or I forget something. And then someone has to remind me like a little child. Which is not bad, but you don't want to have your hand held forever. But then again, it's comforting to know that your hand is being held by someone that loves you, or someone that cares about you. It's a good feeling. And it's, it's hard for me to adjust, and it's hard for me to be this way, but I have to actually deal with the cards that are dealt. I can't change it. Medication won't help. Hot might, but I'm allergic to that shit. LSD helps. <laughs> wow, so LSD. LSD's good. I have to recommend one good fucking drug in my damn life. Yeah, LSD. Talk all about other goddamn 
the type of drugs like ecstasy and coke and crack and all that fucking shit. LSD is the way to fucking go. Yeah, but then you got the fucking guy that's saying, oh no, I know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. And then they start fucking getting a knife and flesh, peeling off peat chunks of their fucking skin. It gets kind of cold because the blood's spurting out rainbows and they're fucking dying in the pool of blood. I've never had a bad trip. Right? LSD helped me. Thank <laughs> you. 